see if we live yet. See what's going on here. Do I gotta do this shit every time? Settings. Cancel. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we go. We in here. We in here. We in here. Um, I had a situation um, yesterday. I had a situation yesterday, but we are here. Oh, what's this? Hold on. We are here. All right, here we are. I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. Um, I had a technical issue as far as the audio, but I'm back today, and we're gonna we're gonna jump. Um, right into it you know first and foremost make sure you know what's going on here you feel me operation elevation operation elevation is all about elevating yourself and elevating the people around you helping elevate the people around you so you can eventually elevate the world that's what operation elevation is about you feel me also make sure you follow me on all social media networks at it's x marv i t s x marv m a r v at it's x marv i know i need a haircut I'm going Friday. I get my haircuts on Fridays. It's Friday, haircut Friday, baby. So I'm gonna go see my barber, aka my surgeon. He's gonna have me sliced and diced looking crazy. Out here. I'm gonna shade at night, though. Definitely gonna shade at night. But you know, I, I, I um I wanted to go over something real quick. We're gonna talk about this 13th Amendment thing, and we also gonna talk about um victimhood. Because a lot of things people like to do is force victimhood on people, and we're gonna discuss that. Let me just, I got to share on social media. What's good? Hold on. Let me get the, let me get the share on the social media. Pampy. Hold on. Let me make sure it's good. Check here. Hey, good night. But, you know, I, 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 um, I wanted to go over something real quick. Perfect. It sounds gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. People on the podcast, I know y'all gonna hear this little blank space, but I was doing something, so I had to, uh, I had to go ahead and get that taken care. Of. All right, so let's talk about this um situation here. First, let's talk about this victimhood situation, and then we're gonna talk about the Thirteenth Amendment in regards to um we're gonna comment on what Kanye said and why I agree that the Thirteenth Amendment need to be repealed and replaced. So, first, let's go with this real quick, real quick. Let's just. Now, that video, I came across it on Instagram. And um, in the caption, somebody was like, um, no, I'm sorry, in the comment section, somebody was like, wow, if that was the other way around, it would have been a whole hell in the bag. You know, it would have been this, that, and the third, this, that, and the third, whatever the case may be, right? And I commented, like, that looked pretty consensual to me. I don't know, what the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all try to force this, so, this sexual abuse victimhood on everybody. And that shit looked consensual as hell to me. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong, but that looked mad consensual to me. So I, I'm not going to sit here 
and call that sexual assault. And that's the problem. People try and dictate and make up new rules of what sexual assault is. You know what I mean? Sexual assault is the unwanting, unwanted touch of someone in a sexual manner. That's sexual assault. Sexual abuse is the same thing. Rape is sexual intercourse on unwanted sexual intercourse. You know what I mean? In, a, in, a, in a simpler terms there. So why are we sitting here throwing this victimhood shit on people who don't look like they're being victims? He didn't, in no way, shape, or form in that video did y'all see him look in any way, shape, or form like a victim. Now, can he come out tomorrow and say, yo, I didn't want to do it. I was so terrified. And, oh, my God. Like, look at this shit, y'all. Look, look. Tell me what part of this show is victimhood. What is it? Look. He wanted to kiss for real. He gave it to me. Now, if he would have turned his head a few times, and she didn't, and she kept trying, that's another thing. But he wasn't even trying to get away from it. He straight up was with it. So what are we talking? We're we not going to talk this victimhood shit on. No. No. We're not going to do that. Enough of that foolish shit. We're not going to do that. It's time to start putting, stop putting victimhood on everybody under the sun. That makes no sense to me. That's not needed. We don't need to do that. Another thing I want to talk about is another fake-ass victimhood that happened the other day on Twitter. Um, yesterday, actually, it happened. I'm going to go ahead and... It happened on my timeline, actually. Tariq Nasheed was, um, was trending. You know, I thought the worst. I'm like, oh, they ain't get my man. But it turns out he just was exposing a Negro bedwinch, a.k.a. a person who's against the black community. So I never have a problem with it. Anybody, any coons or bedwinches, I don't have any problems with it. If you are against black people, you're against me. So it's fuck you forever. I don't care what happens to you. I don't care who embarrasses you. I don't care what race, color, or sexual preference you are. That don't mean nothing to me. If you're against black people, then it's fuck you. I have a daughter. I have a mother. I have sons, brothers, nieces, nephews, aunts. No, I fuck out of here. So let me tell you something right here. Here we go. So essentially what happened was Tariq Nishi was um, trending. So I said, so a black man, so I'm sorry, I said, so a black woman has been attacking a black man and his work for years. The black man then exposes her anti-black men views, and now the black man is wrong. Is that why Tariq Nasheed is trending? So, quite a few people agree with me, um, as we saw. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can go look at it. It's still on my timeline. I don't take nothing down. So, of course. Um, so then you got all these people sticking up for the girl. Her name's Jamila. Jamila Lemieux, whatever her name is. She works for Ebony. And you see the evidence that's been reposted on my timeline. The fuckery that Ebony's been putting out. Anti-black men views. That's non-disputable. So some dude named David Dennis Jr. talking about he's just catching up and all this other stuff. And he said, Tyreek Nishi is anti-black woman, rape apologist, agent for white supremacy. Really? Tyreek Nishi, of all people, is an agent for white supremacy? The creator of Hidden Colors is an agent for white supremacy. That means everybody in Hidden Colors is an agent for white supremacy. That's disrespecting a lot of people. You better tread carefully, David Dennis Jr. Talking real greasy. So I said, let's talk specifics. Jamila has said a lot about black men that makes me question her. Just because she treat you good doesn't mean anything. Because he's sitting there tomorrow, she treat me good. She treat me good. Quite a few people agree with me in that. So some Negro bedwinch comes on and says, anytime black women ain't kissing your ashy asses, y'all say black women hate black men, when the truth is we're actually trying to make y'all crusted and busted behinds better. Of course, they go straight to name calling. I said, no one asked y'all to kiss our asses, but y'all use the worst of us to make it a represent representation for the rest. Then she says, if you care so much about good black men, you will be weeding the good bad black men and not gaslighting black women who speak about their rare, very real experiences with bad black men. But I guess you're going to tell me you love black women, right? She put a bunch of laughing and sleep emojis. I said, I do weed out black men and I also weed out your type. Anyone, regardless of sex, sexual preference, or color gets called out. If they're on some BS about black men or black women, stick to the facts. Now, she goes on and says, so I say stick to the facts, right? So she comes back, and she says, 
Oh, no. Someone comes back and uh, help her out. Some girl gonna say, black men say a lot about black women that makes me question them. Then she got her eye roll. I say, y'all are just proving my point. If your counter argument is, will black men do it too? Then again, you are grouping the dirt with the diamonds. They don't want to respond because they know I'm not going to get into no ignorant back and forth bullshit. You feel me? So when you come with them facts and you come with the receipts, they can't argue that. You can't argue facts and receipts. Screenshots. And if you look on a timeline, you see a bunch of fucked up ass articles that Ebony posted. Let me, I, I reposted that. I mean, we don't make this kind of stuff up. It's not made up stuff. My white sugar daddy. In appreciation of the lovings, 45 years of legal interracial marriage. Is Blazing Dating an answer for single black women? 10 interracial couples proving love is truly blind. My first time with a white guy. New Swirl book teaches how to date interracially. All from Ebony. And Jamila was the editor at the time these articles were put out. That is a direct attack against black men. None of those were pro-black men articles. Say, hey, black men, go date you a, a white woman. Hey, black men, go date you an Asian woman. We didn't see no articles like that. All those articles were specifically telling black women why they shouldn't be dating black men. And here's some better options for you. So please tell me how are you so anti, how am I, we're so anti-black women because we call out the fuckery. That's not anti-black women. We're pro-black family. We're pro-black love. So we have to call out any and everybody who speaks against that. And a lot of those articles is for single black women and gay black men. That's what those articles are for. Let's just speak facts. We'll speak facts. That's what those articles are for. It's the anti-black men movement. And we're calling it out. Y'all don't like it. The Root got called out for it. There was actually a trending topic where people were making fun of the Root headlines because the fuckery that the Root likes to put out. So don't sit here and say we're anti-black women because we call out y'all fuckery. No, you're anti-black man. I'm a black man. I have a black family. I have a black wife, black kids. I don't have any issues against interracial dating. But when you try and say, I'm only dating interracially because I was mistreated and used and abused, you're not even interracially dating properly. You should be dating for love. Why are you only dating because you felt like you were misused and abused by black men? You're not even dating properly. You date for love. Go date whoever the fuck you want, but you don't got to disrespect black men in a black family because you want to date elsewhere. Get the fuck out of here with all that. I will never co-sign that kind of fuckery. I say it all the time. Date who you want. But you don't have to disrespect me and my people and my family because you want to date whoever you want to date. You don't need to make up an excuse for why you want to date outside your race. Do what the fuck you want. Do what you want. But don't disrespect my family, my mother, my wife, my daughter, my aunt, my grandmothers. Don't disrespect them. Don't disrespect my boys. Don't disrespect my brothers, my nephews. Because you want to date outside your race. Do your thing. But don't disrespect us in the route of doing it. Fuck you if you're going to be like that. It's that simple. I will tolerate no disrespect from no black man, no black woman, no Asian woman, Mexican, white, fucking Green, I don't give a fuck what you are. I will take no disrespect towards the black people from anyone, black or otherwise. I don't care about your race. I don't care about your sexual preference. I don't care about your religion. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I will tolerate no disrespect aimed towards black people in no way, shape, or form. It's that simple. It's that simple. Y'all need to stop trying to use the worst of us and make it seem like that's all of us. Stop dating these dusty-ass niggas. It's that simple. Maybe you wouldn't have an issue. Stop dating dusty black men. Stop dating the worst of us. Stop dating the uneducated ones, the lazy ones, the ones with, so, with, with, with all these issues, with all this baggage and all this craziness going on. Stop dating the motherfuckers. It's quality men everywhere. The problem is... You want to be on a corner. You want to hang out all night. You want to hang out with that dude that's hanging out with no future. You want to hang out with that dude that's flossing that real money. You like that dusty shit because deep down you dusty. That's all it is. 
you want to date dusting, it's because in real life, you're dusty. Because if you're not dusty, you don't want to be nowhere near that fuck shit. Trust me. You don't want to be near that bullshit. You're not trying to be around all that ghetto shit. You ain't trying to be in no ghetto clubs. Places getting shot up and shit. You ain't trying to be around. I was at a, I was at a, a bar. Shit got shot up. I'm not going back nowhere anymore. No I'm not going around that shit. I was showing love for a birthday party or a going away party, whatever the case may be. Birthday slash going away party. I'm showing love. Da da da. da. The shit gets shot up. I ain't going back. There. I ain't been back there since. I'm not going back. There. I'm not, I don't need to be around that shit. I don't want to be around none of that dusty shit. So if you want to be around dusty shit, deep down you're dusty. Dust begots dust. That's how it works. I want to be in a cool, laid back, vibing out place that's safe. Where I ain't got to be looking over my shoulder all goddamn day or running in the bathroom because somebody want to lick off shots. I ain't with all that. And if you want to be around that, that's because that's who you are. So don't complain about the quality of pool of men that you're dealing with because you hanging around dustiness. Fellas, this works for you too. You always, y'all always saw these bird women and they don't want this and they don't want that. Why do you want them? Go find you a quality woman. How many colleges we got around here? We got one. We got NU. N Triple C up the street. Buffalo got about six of them. You can't find no woman within those grounds. You got to find a dusty hood rat that's been at the bar, been going to the same bar for 10 years, drinking underage, got a couple baby fathers. Same situation. They are the same kind of dudes. Drug dealers or whatever the case may be. Dusty dudes don't want to take care of their kids. And you don't think we need to start looking at you, them women, as the, as the problem too? Them men is the problem and so is those women. And y'all reproducing problems. Don't sit here and blame us. Don't blame all of us for that. Blame you, Dusty. You, Dusty. He, Dusty. She, Dusty. Y'all, Dusty. Kick rocks. I'm not, I don't I have no reason to protect y'all. Y'all not for us. Y'all not for the betterment of the black community. Y'all not, not for the betterment for any community. What the hell am I going to defend you for? Kick rocks. Stop blaming black men for that fuck shit. Blame yourself because you deal with it. You enjoy that fuck shit because if you didn't enjoy it, you wouldn't do it. People don't do shit they don't enjoy or something they get something out of. It has to be a reason why you're doing something. Either you get something out of it or you enjoy doing it. It's one of the two. So don't blame us for that. I'm not with it. I will not tolerate any disrespect or any attacks on the black family. I will not do it. That's, it's just not going to happen. I don't care about your feelings being hurt. I don't care about you huffing and puffing, screaming and crying and all the old crap. I don't care. Kick rocks. I won't let it fly. I will not. I'm. I'm not sorry. I will just. I just won't let it fly. You can go speak dusty about everybody else, but I'm not gonna let you speak dusty about the black community. Screw you. Whatever. You feel me? Now. I want to talk about this 13th Amendment situation. You know what I mean? I had to go on that little rant and rave because it's important we discuss these things because a lot of people hear things and they just get so butthurt and so mad about every single thing. So I want to bring up this clip that Kanye said because I do agree we need to get rid of um, the 13th Amendment. We need to replace it, though. Um, so listen to what he said. Hold on. And a slave. Let me, let me replay that. In order to make a freed man a slave, all you have to do is convict them of a crime. In order to make a freed man a slave, all you have to do is convict them of a crime. So the 13th Amendment, let's talk about it because a lot of people don't understand the 13th Amendment. They think it's, hey, it's an amendment that abolished slavery, but they don't understand it didn't abolish slavery. It just read. Uh, it just transfers slavery to the prison system. And if you look at the prison system, you can clearly tell there's a school to prison pipeline, especially in the black community and, you know, the poor community, period. The, you know, the black and poor community, there's a school to prison pipeline. And you see by a large amount of numbers that black people are incarcerated much more. So let me go ahead and break down here. First, 
let's let's get to the 13th amendment and i'm gonna tell y'all why it's significant and why we need to re get it get it replaced so let's first break it down neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the united states or any place subject to their jurisdiction so that means the virgin islands puerto rico things of that nature that's that's not a part they're not states but they are a part of the jurisdiction of the united states they're the united states territories um, congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation so i'm gonna leave it up let me just i just gotta shrink it let me just shrink it just a little bit just a little taste I'm going to leave it up because I want to discuss it and I need y'all to be able to see it as I'm discussing it. So, essentially what's happening here when it comes to the 13th Amendment is it's saying that, hey, slavery is not legal in the United States. Except, except when someone is convicted of a crime and they're in jail. We can go ahead and let slavery rock, right? So you happen to notice that 12% of the population, if you add in some other colored people, let's just say 20% of the population. 20% of the population is overwhelmingly convicted of crimes, petty crimes, large crimes, whatever the crime is. So let me tell you how that number comes about, because you can look at the U.S. Census, and I know this is how it works. I'm going to use the assault. I used the assault example yesterday. White man smacks somebody. White man gets arrested, goes to court. Nothing. Charges get dropped. Pay somebody off. Charges get dropped. Boom. That white man committed that crime, but he's been convicted of it, so guess what? It don't go into the census. White man, mm, smack somebody. That person wants to press charges. White man goes to court, goes to trial, jury. Nah, we good. He ain't, you know, we gonna find him not guilty of that. It doesn't count. Mm, white man, smack somebody. White man goes to trial, he gets convicted, they say, hey, you do 50 hours of community service, we'll go ahead and drop this, won't be a felony, never happened. Doesn't count. Black man, smack somebody. Hey, man, you a violent monster. Convicted, doing a year in jail, felony on your record. Guess what that year in jail gets? Yeah, the year of slavery. So what needs to happen is the 13th Amendment need to read like this. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. That's all 13th Amendment should say. Section 1 of it. There should be no slavery whatsoever, whether it's in jail or not in jail, in the United States. Because we have shown that when you ever there is slavery, there's going to be a funnel of black people going through it. Period. That's where the chain gang shit come from, all that. So they will get that labor out of you some way, shape, or form. They abolish slavery, but nah. That's why I be I, that's why I don't I don't really give Abraham Lincoln all this extra ass credit for abolishing slavery, because he didn't really abolish slavery, he just transferred it to the prison system. And the prison system has been a bedding home, it's been a a, a, a mass and then they made it privatized. They privatized the prison system. So private businesses can get the free slavery. They privatize the prison system so all the people that's invested in the privatized prisons can make money off the states. And they made slavery legal in the prison system. That's a win, 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 win for anybody who's interested in getting cheap free labor, making money off the prison systems, and want to go ahead and funnel black people in there. That's why you see a lopsided-ass conviction rate when it comes to black people. That's why you see crimes that typically you can find in poor and disenfranchised community with what much more harsher sentences for crimes that you find in affluent, affluential communities. So stuff that happens in the suburbs, not going to have as harsh of a crime. Stuff that happens in the poor communities, going to have a harsh sentence. It's that simple. The sentencing guidelines have been harsher in the poor communities. It's not by it's not by mistake. We're not gonna send our kids to jail and do that chain gang shit. We're gonna send your kids to jail to do that chain gang shit. Oh, your kids need hung they hungry? Fuck them. They gonna wanna eat, they can eat in jail. You give them three hots in a cot. And they're gonna pick this cot, no, they're gonna do this whatever they need to do, whatever the, the, the job functions may be, that's what they're gonna do. So yes, the 13th Amendment needs to be repealed and replaced. We don't need slavery in no way, shape, or form, because then that's going to change the sentencing guidelines. 
that's going to change when we see going to jail. Maybe we'll actually have a real justice system. Man, my, my, he went to Stanford with me, Brock Turner. Your father went to Stanford. Oh, you a Stanford alum? I'm a Stanford alum. I'm not going to do my alum like that. Six months. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's too hard for a year. Three, three, three months. Here, let's release him early. Let's get, I don't want to ruin his future. You know what I mean? I don't want to ruin his future. That's how that judicial system type shit happens. I'm not going to send my own kind to, to, to jail. I'm not going to send my own kind to deal with that kind of shit. I'm going to send yours. You ain't doing shit with your life anyway. You just a nigga on the street. Go ahead and go to jail for 20 years for that weed. And now that we see weed is a billion dollar industry, everybody, it's like a gold rush to get in. But we know people who did football numbers for that shit. Come on, man. You gotta read between the lines. Stop falling for this stupid shit. Stop getting so upset about just headlines, man. You gotta understand these laws. Read the fucking Constitution. Understand the Constitution. Understand it. Hey, 13th Amendment, Google it. Google it real quick. Oh, what's, what does the 13th Amendment say? Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. We can't have that. Oh, wait a minute. Why did it? Oh, so now we see. Ah, connect the dots. Connect the dots. Stop being so damn stupid all the time. It's not hard to read. Read the shit properly. Stop being stupid. Stop being lazy. Put the work in. Y'all don't want to put no work in. And you wonder why your situation is where it is now. Because you don't want to put no work in. Put the work in. That's all I'm saying. But I appreciate y'all listening to me, man. Appreciate y'all watching me, however you had to do it. Um, I appreciate the people that join me live. And I mean, next time, leave some comments, whatever the case may be, man. Until next time, on this week's episode of Mars World, I might, I might come back again. I like doing this joint right here, man. I'm not going to lie. I really do. I'm just trying to make more time for it, do it more often. So you might catch me Friday night. Who knows? Who knows? I need to shave. I'm going to shave all this up. I'm going to look clean tomorrow. When y'all see me tomorrow, I'm going to look clean. I'm going to look rugged and clean at the same time. So appreciate y'all fuck rocking with me. We here. We out of here. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. It's X Meyer. Oh, your homework this week. Your homework. Oh shit! What did I sign yesterday? Uh... Low. On the post that you find on social media, wherever you see that, because I'm going to post it on all of them. At it's X, at it's X Meyer. On the post, comment if you agree or disagree whether the 13th Amendment need to be repealed and replaced. That's your home, all right? Peace.